Aloha family and welcome to the Felixes. Today we have a very delicious treat for you folks. Um, Michelle, we she made some grilled, this is grilled salmon and this is regular salmon. So what we're gonna make for you today is some, um, what are we making? Salmon cakes. Michelle loves salmon cakes. So we're making two types of salmon cakes today. One for the keto friendly, uh, cause keto, I have a lot of friends on keto. So, and Michelle loves this style. And then I'm gonna make my favorite, which it's using panko. I like using breadcrumbs in mine. And um, yeah, so briefly to discuss what our ingredients are for today, to, just to make the salmon cakes, very, very simple, very delicious. And um, so we have salt, we have Old Bay, two tablespoons of Old Bay. The salt is to taste, so there's no, I don't have any measurement on the salt. We have uh, lemon zest, one egg each. So each one of these patties weigh around four ounces. So four ounces, and we're, since it's just me and Michelle, so if you have a bigger party, let's say four or five people, we made it so simple that you can actually take these and just multiply it by three or four or how many, however many guests you have. Um, Michelle for the, we have uh, quinoa, quinoa, um, and then panko for the non-keto. How's that sound? Amazing. Alrighty, so as we begin, this is sockeye salmon. You can use any kind of salmon you want. And the reason we're doing this show is, or this segment, uh, one for the physical health was because we have we had some salmon left over. So let's say you're grilling out one day and you have salmon and you just have leftover salmon. This is a great way to utilize that salmon. And then we have, um, as we started, we did uh, our herb garden. Very easy to do. Um, we went to both Lowe's and Home Depot. They both Home Depot had the best selection of herbs, hands down. So we have dill curly parsley, green onion, and some cilantro. And those are aromatics. So we're gonna do quickly, we're gonna take this salmon right here, that's not cooked, and the skin, I'm actually gonna take the skin off. And what I'm gonna do with the skin, folks, don't throw it out, you take the skin, and what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna make doggy treats for baby Felix with the skin. He absolutely loves it. And you can actually even have that skin and uh, consume it yourself if you'd like. So for this salmon, we're going to we're going to season it real quick. A little oil, a little bit of salt, a tiny bit of Old Bay just for a little nice season. Salt and straight into the. So the oven's preheat, it's preheated for uh, 350, and it should take approximately around less than 15 minutes, depending on your oven. Our oven is, says 350, but it's, it's a beast. It's actually probably like 400. It's not calibrated. And, all right, here we go. For Michelle, we're gonna have quinoa. So our quinoa, we have one cup of quinoa and two cups of water. Um, I myself, if it's vegan, I actually like using stock, like vegetable stock, chicken stock, or beef stock. For me, that's I, I just believe those flavors are, are better. Well, if you're vegan, the, the vegetable stock. But if not, if everything's on a budget, just some quinoa, one cup of quinoa, two cups of water, medium high heat, and then you just let the, the quinoa cook. Once the water is all dissolved, you want to pick the quinoa, take it off the take it off the, the heat, and somewhere probably probably put it on your counter, and then throw a cover on it. But you'll see exactly how that goes. While all that's going, we have salmon in there. We have the quinoa going. When that's happening, we go ahead and we start chopping our herbs and all our goodness to get ready for the next for the next step. So 
So this is some lemon zest. Again, lemon zest, very easy to, to use. You can actually just, you don't need a zester. If you don't have a zester, you can just use a little peeler. And you don't want too much of the white, but A little bit nice and fine. So we have that. And then our herbs. Remember folks, we said sharp knife always. We'll, um, and that's plenty. And since it's all going inside that one dish, our cilantro. There we go. Then we have our dill. So we're using exactly one teaspoon of each for each cake. And one teaspoon so you folks know exactly what it looks like. This is exactly one teaspoon. So if we go like so, it's about one teaspoon. And it could be a little, so we have a little, a little bit more than two teaspoons here for each cake. And that's uh, one teaspoon for four ounces. So one teaspoon of cilantro, one teaspoon of dill, and one teaspoon of parsley. And then approximately for the green onion, just because I like the color, I'd go around half, half a tea, half a tablespoon. Sorry, so half a tablespoon of um, of green onions. So these are our herbs that we'll be using, nice and chopped up. And the oven is done. Our oven roasted salmon. And then we got Baby Felix snack. So we got this beautiful uh, Baby Felix. He's gonna be so happy. He's gonna have um, like uh, salmon skin jerky. Mm -hmm. So we have our baked salmon and our grilled salmon. And we're gonna split these up in bowls. As you can see, the skin is off the grilled salmon. Just throw that into the bowl. You're so kind. And then this salmon is still a little bit hot. Nice and flaky. Now I'll go into the next bowl. And baby Felix is gonna have a field day with that skin. And I'm actually gonna put these back in the oven on super low heat so this gets nice and crispy for my baby boy. It's right next to you. <laughs> yeah, he, he hangs out right next to me. He supervises my steps. So, okay, we go one teaspoon of lemon zest on each. And Michelle corrected me, folks. I, um, I did a big boo-boo. <laughs> um, quinoa is not keto. Quinoa is not keto. So instead, we're gonna be using red lentils. If we have our red lentils, we actually 
Michelle cooked the lentils with some goodness. We have quarter cup, quarter cup of panko, then one teaspoon of each herb on each one. So we have parsley, dill, and cilantro. Fresh herbs are always good. Please check out. Um, it was it was really really fun creating these, creating the uh, herb garden. All right, we're gonna use some of these green onions later on for. Thank you, love. Then we have our one teaspoon of Old Bay in each one and then one egg so i take the egg and incorporate a lot of air inside the egg just so it when this gets um so i have one egg there and one egg here mm. michelle is so awesome so after this you'll take and you get a little bit a little bit messy And then we're gonna cool this down a little bit. Get the rest of the... In the fridge. Fridge. So Michelle's gonna throw it in the fridge. So then we put this into the refrigerator for approximately around 15 to 20 minutes. All right, family. So we had our salmon chilling inside the refrigerator for around 20 minutes. Now we're actually gonna mold them and we're gonna sear them and finish them in the oven. So really easy, something like that. Make sure, wow, make sure you have no bones. Bones is no bueno. So we go, so you make around two cakes for the four ounces with all the ingredients in it. it smells so good. So this right here is the, the keto friendly, which is made with the, the red, the red lentils. And that's bay leaf. And then this one, as you see, I did the keto first. This is the one made out of such a great help having Michelle help me out. This is the one that has panko. And if you wanted to make it unhealthy, you could make these balls a little smaller and drop them in a fryer. If you wanted to be adventurous. So around four ounces, you make two patties. So this is perfect for date night at the house. Or what um, what we're gonna be putting on these beautiful um, cakes. I like using avocado and hollandaise sauce or tartar sauce, a nice dill tartar sauce. So then we put these on our nice little flat top. Can you know that for me, love? I'm putting down some avocado oil. And that is a beautiful sound. That's exactly the sound that you want. So 
basically, so you're just getting them a little bit nicely uh, golden brown and delicious on each side. Um, a nice, somewhat of a nice sear. Not, you're not cooking it all the way because you're gonna finish it in the oven. And we'll show you how that looks. And family, you can actually, with these cakes, what I suggest you do, which I've done for Michelle on anniversary day, sometimes when she is uh, wanting some cakes, I turn them into a uh, salmon cake benedict. Like no bread, you use uh, salmon cake, poached egg, hollandaise sauce on top. The way we're gonna finish these today is a little bit of avocado, some hollandaise sauce on, um, on one of them, and then the other one we're gonna have with uh, a little bit of uh, herb tartar sauce from the herbs that we picked out from our little herb garden that we built. How's that sound? All right, so now we're gonna take these beautiful cakes. They're nicely, uh, a little bit golden brown on the top. was preheated to 350. I like cooking on 350. Um, and we'll put them in there for around 15 minutes at 350. And then the best part, ladies and gentlemen, is to taste your creation. So Michelle's gonna have the keto? Yeah. So Michelle's gonna have the keto cake, which is this one right here with the red lentil. I'm gonna have the non-keto. So would you like it with hollandaise? And before we, we put the hollandaise, A good treat, which I love, if you're making this at home, I like I like avocado on mine, so we'll have Would you like tartar sauce? I would like the, yeah, tartar sauce. I'll take the tartar sauce. So that, since I'm gonna have, you can fan the avocados just like that. Michelle's having the keto. I'm having just like that. And this can be breakfast, this can be lunch. And again, this would be great if you're making a salmon cake eggs benedict. And for Michelle, a little bit of tartar sauce on top. Okay. And family, this is a great way to take some leftover salmon, salmon that you did the next, the next day and turn it into a wonderful treat for breakfast, for lunch, whatever you'd like. And I would actually take a little bit of fresh dill and put it on both of those. How do you feel about that? And family, that's why it's so awesome to have a beautiful herb garden right in your lanai. Well, lanai in Hawaii is so we'll put a little bit on Michelle's. 
And there we go. Thank you. Family, enjoy life. We will be enjoying life right now, eating this wonderful salmon cake. Please subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that thingy majiggy and we'll see you soon. God bless. Take care. Aloha. Oh man. Best salmon cake I've ever had. Salmon skin jerky. Feel like a treat. A treat. So nothing goes to waste. Awesome.